Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering K nearest neighbor algorithm. Shortly, we call it as KNN algorithm. Guys, I have uploaded complete data mining subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. K nearest neighbor is one of the simplest machine learning algorithm based on supervised learning technique. This KNN is machine learning algorithm. And this KNN is based on supervised learning technique. Supervised learning technique means in supervised learning technique we train machines by using labeled data. Labeled data means data which contains input and output. For example, if you consider classification, in classification we are training this classification algorithm by using labeled data. Labeled data is nothing but data which contains both input and output. For example, in this student and marks are considered as input and whereas result is considered as output. So this is labeled data. By using this labeled data, we are training this algorithm. So classification is also a supervised learning technique. So KNN is supervised learning technique. That means we train machines by using labeled data. KNN algorithm assumes the similarity between new data and available data and then put the new data into a category that is more similar to available category. I will give one example so that you can clearly understand this definition. For example, I have one input data. Input data is nothing but it is new data. This is available data. Total there are two categories of data available with me. One is square category and another one is circle category. Now I want to place this input data that is new data in any of these categories. How I will place? By using KNN classifier we can place this input data in any of this available category. But how it will place? It will place based on the similarity. For example this input data is similar to square because it is looking like square. So this input data is similar to square category. So KNN classifier will place this input data in square category. So output is this data belongs to square category. I hope you have understood what is KNN algorithm. KNN algorithm assumes the similarity between new data and available data and then put the new data in the category which is similar to the available category. I hope you have understood this definition for example i have an image that looks similar to square and circle but i want to know either this image belongs to square or circle in order to identify that i use knn classifier and this knn algorithm works based on the similarity measures that is knn algorithm will find similar features between this new data with respect to square and circle and based on the most similarity features it will be placed this new data will be placed either in square or circle so this input data is much similar to square so it is placed in square category and this knn algorithm can be used for regression and as well as for classification but mostly we use this knn algorithm for classification so we can also call this KNN algorithm as knn classifier we also call this knn algorithm as lazy learner algorithm the name itself says it is lazy in learning. We call this KNN algorithm as lazy learner algorithm because whatever the training data set that we give to this KNN algorithm, KNN algorithm will not learn the training data set. Instead what it will do is it will store the training data set and then at the time of classification it performs some actions on that data set. This is an example of how KNN algorithm will work. Total there are two categories of data available with me. One is category A and another one is category B. Category A contains square data that is all the data is in square form and whereas category B contains circle data, circular data. All the data is in circular form. There is new data available with me. I want to place this new data either in category A or in category B. By using KNN algorithm. What KNN algorithm will do is at first KNN algorithm will find some nearest neighbors. What are the objects near to this new data? That is square, two squares and one circle is near to this new data. Among these three nearest neighbors, two are square and one is circle. So majority is square because there are two squares and whereas only one circle. So we will place this new data based on majority. So majority is square now. So we will place this new data in this category A. We will place new data based on the nearest neighbors. So we call this as K nearest neighbor algorithm. After placing this new object in this category A, this is how output looks like. We place this new object in category A. These are the steps how KNN will work. This is KNN algorithm. At first I will explain KNN example. We will solve one problem and then we will go for algorithm so that you can easily remember this algorithm. This is an example which we need to solve. Perform KNN classification algorithm on following data set and predict the class for 
mass is equal to 6 and computer is equal to 8 where k equal to 3 here given table contains three attributes they are marks of mathematics marks of computers and result these are the three attributes given now we need to find class class is nothing but last attribute is known as class here we need to find result for mass is equal to 6 marks and computer is equal to 8 marks here we need to find result for this here they given k equal to 3 k equal to 3 mean we need to consider three nearest neighbors in order to find result in order to find nearest neighbors we use this formula that is euclidean distance formula of euclidean distance is under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square we need to find euclidean distance for all this data for example these are the marks of students for example this data one is marks of student one student one got four marks in mass three marks in computers and his result is failed similarly student two i am considering student two as data two student three as data three student 4 as data 4 and at last student 5 as data 5 these are the marks that students got now i am calculating distance for this d1 data 1 this is euclidean distance formula that is under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here x2 and y2 are these values which is given in question which we need to find result this is x2 mass equal to 6 where 6 is x2 and 8 is y2 and similarly with respect to data 1 here x1 is 4 and y1 is 3 now we need to substitute these values in this formula that is under root of x2 is 6 6 minus x1 is 4 6 minus 4 whole square plus y2 is 8 8 minus 3 whole square so result is under root of 2 square plus 5 square that is under root of 4 plus 25 equal to under root 29 if you calculate this under root 29 you will get this value that is 5.38 we found distance for d1 similarly we need to find euclidean distance for d2 d3 d4 and d5 here in d2 x1 is 6 and y1 is 7 6 and 7 and whereas x2 and y2 is same for all this that is x2 is 6 and y2 is 8 after substituting these values in this formula i will get result as 1 Similarly, for D, D3 result is 1 and for D4 result is 3.16 and for D5 result is 2. Here in question, they given K equal to 3. That means we need to consider 3 nearest neighbors. That is, we need to consider 3 smallest values from this data 1, data 2, data 3, data 4 and data 5. From this, from all this data, we need to consider 3 smallest values. Here D1 is 5, 5.3, D2 is 1, D3 is 1 d4 is 3 and whereas d5 is 2 out of this d2 is first smallest value after that d3 is smallest after that d5 is smallest these are the three smallest values i considered because here in question they given k equal to 3 so we need to consider three smallest values here i considered d2 and d3 and d5 here d2 is nothing but person 2 person 2 got six marks in mass and seven marks in computers and his result is pass and similarly d3 person 3 got 7 marks in mass and 8 marks in computers and his result is pass and similarly d5 d5 got 8 marks in mass and 8 marks in computers and his result is pass majority of the result is pass so for this new data for this new new student who got 6 marks in mass and 8 marks in computers his result is pass so for mass is equal to 6 and for com computers is equal to 8 result is pass this is final result of the new data we need to consider result based on the majority here majority of the student got pass marks so here for new data result is pass for example here for student 2 result is fail even though result is fail we need to consider majority one fail two pass so we need to consider pass for example all these three student result is fail so in that situation we need to consider majority all are fail so result is fail for new data also result is fail i hope you have understood guys if you get this k and algorithm question in exam definitely you need to write this example otherwise you will not get marks so definitely write this example in examination based on these three nearest neighbors we decided result of new data now i will explain k and n algorithm in step one we will select k number of neighbors and after selecting k number of neighbors we need to calculate Euclidean distance for this neighbor here we selected k neighbors and we calculated Euclidean distance for this neighbors after that in step 3 we need to select nearest neighbors based on the condition if they given k equal to 3 then we need to select 3 nearest neighbors if they given k equal to 2 then we need to select 2 nearest neighbors 
based on the condition we need to select nearest neighbors as per euclidean distance and in step 5 we need to assign our new data to any of the category based on the majority and at last in step 6 our model is ready in step 5 we assigned value based on the majority here majority is pass so i, so I send value as pass and at last in step 6 our model is ready this is knn algorithm